guys, welcome back to Nikkel CTV. I discovered that I had hardwood floors up under this carpet, so we decided to gut out the carpet and refinish them. I tried to cut the carpet with a box knife, and then he was like, girl move, let me do it. So that's exactly what I did, moved out the way. We got all the furniture, all the floor bins out of the way, and then proceeded to just cut this carpet out to see what we're working with up under it. My baby got pretty hungry, so I was able to go and feed him while he worked on the carpet. And my dog actually bit a hole in the carpet three years ago and I hit it. So here we are. Now we can really get down to business and just start gutting this out. Also, if you use Carpet Fresh, that is what it looks like. That's where it goes. So I was happy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all that Carpet Fresh, I am not ashamed. I should be. But then everything kind of stopped when we noticed that this was right here. I immediately decided I'm gonna put a rug over it and we're just gonna move on. I don't have time to deal with that right now. Then he was looking at something and I was like, what the heck are you looking at? Is it a bug? I, don't, I still don't know to this day what he was looking at, but yeah, moving all the rest of the furniture out. And then this is where it started to get down to business, okay? We started ripping up all of these carpet tack strips and then um, I started sweeping. Also, I don't know how many times I swept in this video, so. Maybe if you give me an estimate in the comments, just just let me know how many times you think I had to sweep the floor. But I now have a hate to hate relationship with staples. Um, you have to take out all the staples that are in the floor. You have to sweep everything up. You have to take out all the nails. So the process is worth it, but just, just get ready for a couple of tedious projects you have to do. So then we went to Home Depot and started looking at stains. I wanted something dark because the wood was actually stained as you're about to see on day two. So he had to go to work and I refused to sit around and wait until he got off. So I started really early in the morning. I don't need a man. Yep, you see it, you see it. I ripped out the carpet by myself. And then that's when I was like, <laughs> oh, more carpet fresh. Yeah, that stain was horrendous. So I used some hydrogen peroxide and Dawn dish soap and I did some research and it said if it starts to bubble, it's animal urine. Yay. And it smelled rancid, you guys, okay? It smelled rancid, so I sprayed it twice. I covered it up with the napkin and I started working on some other stuff while I let it soak because... And also, these staples were a different breed. Okay, I could not get them out. I said, I'm gonna leave it until he gets here. And that's exactly what I did. This is the horrible stained area and we're just going to move on for now and start taking all the furniture out of the living room because today equals sanding, sanding, sanding. That is the part that I couldn't wait to do. Okay, so now he's back and we got this drum sander from Home Depot. Really, really easy rental process, but look at that. Yep, we started off with the 36 grit to really get down to business and take off all that first top existing layer. And it really started to bring out like that natural wood. And I was like, yep, this is the best idea that I came up with for the household to get rid of that carpet. And this is like times 10 speed. You really have to take your time with this drum sander, but here we go. Okay, so here I am with the edger. You have to rent this too because the drum sander won't really get those nooks and crannies and those crevices. So once you get this going, you really have to hold on because it will try to fly off with you. And be careful if there's any existing like staples or nails left because for one, it could rip and for two, you did see some sparks flying. So then after we sand it with the 36 grit, we sand it up to three more times with those grits listed there on the screen. Now this is not for the wall, this is plastic wood. Some people are going to hate that I did this, but these gaps were huge and I wanted to kind of fill them. So you can use the plastic wood, but honestly, I wish I would have just used uh, some of the like sawdust and just mixed it with some wood glue. And I heard that that's a lot easier because it actually stains a lot better. So here it is after all the sanding. Whoop, whoop. And now I'm vacuuming up any more sawdust that was around because, yeah, 
And then I started to label the baseboards when we took them off. It just makes it so much easier when it's time to put them back on. And then we started staining. Oh, I was so happy at first. I was like, it's really, really dark. And then you do have to wipe off the excess. So I was like, uh, it's not as dark as I wanted it to be, but I'm gonna see it through. So by the way, do a test, do a test. I was ready to be done because we have a little one and he's super mobile. So I didn't really do a test patch, but I definitely would have went darker if I would have done a test patch at first. Okay, so this is after we did two coats. That's what's recommended. And then it was 4.45 in the morning. I started off with this little bitty jar of polyurethane and I wouldn't recommend that. Just get a big one, save yourself two trips to Home Depot or your hardware store. And we have to do three coats of this across the whole floor. So that's why I started at 4.45 in the morning because I want it to be done no later than 11 a.m. So this is all nice and shiny. Yes, that spot is still there. It looks like someone was unalived, but it was the best I could do with what we had. So here's the hallway, yep. That big old stain is gone and then we started to move the furniture back in oh it felt so good to be almost done with this but here is the final result yes you see the rug i was not playing i'll figure that out another time another day but this is the before carpet fresh paint stains urine stains from animals not my animals by the way <laughs> here's the after oh it looks so good to me mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then here's the hallway before. And there's the after. All right, you guys, I thank you so much for watching Nicole's CTV. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.